everybody today I got a 2012 uh, Kia Soul the little hamster mobile y'all know the one from the old crazy commercial where the hamsters are in that car bouncing their heads so it looks like our brake pads are completely gone and we are metal to metal there's our inner pad there what's left of it so some of the tools we're going to need here going to be a phillips screwdriver maybe even a chisel yeah it looks like i'm gonna have to chisel those out those are pretty pretty jacked up uh we're gonna need a 14 millimeter here uh, 17 millimeters for our caliper bracket bolts so uh, i'm gonna go gather some weapons together here and i'll be right back we're gonna crack our 14 millimeters loose here and at the bottom of the caliper crack these loose already so it's just a matter of getting them out the bottom one i think everybody can probably see the condition of the rotors right here they are trashed so we're gonna get this caliper off of here and get our bracket off caliper out of here it's just a matter of prying it up and off and we're gonna hang this up with a uh, tie strap I'm gonna get our caliper bracket bolts loose here and down here stuff is pretty rusty yeah these pads are shot and there's our inner pad completely gone outer pad good minuscule amount of life left left to it but as we can see that rotor that rotor's garbage yeah, it's junk so we're going to get that off we're going to have to take a chisel and probably knock those two set screws out of the uh, rotor be right back get these out of here with a punch hammer here see if i can get it to rotate We gotta do the same thing for the bottom. Try and get that to move. get our rotor off this rotor is not going to come off without me exhibiting a little violence on it and if you notice I put my lug nuts back on here to keep me from damaging my studs while I hit this with this hammer go and she's free get this out of here then we can really take a look at the back of it a 
Oh man, she's trashed. Yeah, she's done. All right, so our next step here is going to be to get this hub face cleaned up here. We're going to take a wire brush and clean all this rust off of here and get us a nice smooth surface for that rotor to sit on. So let me go grab a few tools. I'll be right back. All cleaned up. Just put a little, little grease around here so that the rotor doesn't tend to stick the next time. And also the rim because I had to beat the rim off of here. to stick our rotor on and we're gonna stick our old jacked up set screws back in here these actually just hold the rotor in place as the car is coming down the assembly line so that this doesn't fall off we're gonna put them back anyway to shape all right and our next move will be to get to our caliper bracket I'm gonna knock this back with a punch a little bit more kind of tighten this up a little bit this one I believe is good all right all right on to our caliper bracket here first thing you want to do is make sure that your slide pins here are moving in and out freely and twisting freely and what we're going to do is take our clips out here and see in this time in the midwest there's always a gang of rust built up behind here we need to clean out there there we're going to put our clips in here Notice I got this all cleaned up and all the rust off of there. So we're going to get our clips in here. And next, our pads. fighting me all right let me get these in there be right back Man, nothing wants to cooperate today So we're going to tighten that up. Next to the caliper. What we're going to do now is push our piston back into its bore in our caliper, and we're going to do that using this tool here. Take our old pad, put it back in place. And we're going to twist this, and squeeze this back in. With any luck, this caliper will go back into place. I mean, excuse me, the piston 
go back into place and not get stuck. So far, so good. and break fluid in the master cylinder. And that brake fluid is leaking out of there because Someone obviously put some fluid in the master cylinder and the pads were already worn. caliper back in place and bolt it up back on here and we'll tighten these up That is it folks. That is the replacement of brake pads and rotor on a 2012 Kia Soul. If this helped you out any, hit the like button, hit that share button, hit the subscribe button, and I will catch you all on the next one.